do I look now? Better? Okay, thank you. Yeah, so I'm sure most of you here would be wondering what mind-blowing thing I did to be, in, to be on TEDx today. But the truth is, I'm as excited as you are to be here, to be amongst innovative minds. It's awesome. Yeah, and I'm also privileged to be amongst all of you sharing my life story in hopes to make sure that you are challenged. You are motivated to do something about yourself, something about your life. My name is Loretta Ojonu. I'm a Nigerian and also an Igbo girl. You clap there, please clap again. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, like I said, Loretta has always been a straight A student. Aced my exams, everything. The future was obviously bright for me. You understand? But it was a, along the line, in my second year in the university, I got a call from home. My mom, she was like, hello. I said, hello, mommy, good evening. And she said, there is no money. In other words, no finance. No finance for my studies, no money to go to school anymore, no money to buy books, nothing. At the point, the only option for me was to quit school and go home, sit down and wait for money. But like I said, quitting is never an option. Quitting, in fact, is not an option. I decided to take my life into my own hands, take faith, into my own hands and do something about myself, yeah. So I got a job as a bartender. And so the earnings from working as a bartender, I used them to buy my handouts, I transferred myself to school, I fed myself. It wasn't easy, trust me. It wasn't rosy. It wasn't interesting because, oh, I had to work overnight, come to class as early as 7 a.m., try my best to stay awake when the lecturer was teaching. It wasn't easy at all. Yeah. And uh, yeah. how many of you know Zongo? And Zeropo? Can you walk that distance under hot sun? Like the sun is hot. Can you walk all that distance? I had to walk like that for days because I didn't have enough money to transport myself because I was trying to save money. It wasn't easy. I was a legit squatter, squatting from one place to another, living off what my friends could afford because I had nothing. People would embarrass me, I'd be humiliated because I had nothing to show. No fancy clothes, no fancy shoes, nothing, just me. Men would try to lure me to their beds because it was obvious that I was struggling. It was obvious that I needed the money. In fact, it was a walking broomstick. Imagine this looking malnourished. <laughs> you, would, you would think I probably have a, a, a viral disease or a deadly disease and I'll be dying tomorrow. Whereas, the story is long. Yes, so that. I struggled with tears, with pains, with pleas. I was able to sit for classes, write my final exams, write my projects, defend my projects. Voila, well, the lady standing before you here today is a graduate of economics. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. That means I'm a university degree holder, but my degree is actually being held by the university because I have no money to pay for my fees to collect them. Very funny, yeah? But that didn't stop me, no. That didn't stop me. I have to leave. I have to aspire. I have to succeed. I have to do something with my life. So tell me, there are people looking up to me. I have siblings looking up to me. What picture would I paint for them? Quitting is never an option. So I got a job as a teacher. I was teaching in a bilingual school. I worked for a year, but along the line, the Working conditions were unfavorable. I quit the job. Then I got a job as a waitress. You can call me a hustler. Yes, you can. <laughs> I got a job as a waitress, working. But that is where the story changed. I got a job as a waitress in a French restaurant. 
Imagine a native English speaker with little or no idea about the French language or the French etiquette serving you. It was weird. It was bizarre because nobody understood me. And I felt, at a point, I felt embarrassed. I felt, yeah, it got to a point where I felt stupid. Yes, because I didn't, I couldn't communicate. You understand? Oh, imagine somebody walks up to you and say, uh, Bonsoir, monsieur. Moi, veni ici avant, mais toi, dis-moi, allez. <laughs> imagine. So if somebody walks up to you and says, That girl is a graduate, would you ever believe it? You would never believe it. Somebody walked up to me and said, Loretta, did you even go to secondary school? In French, I was, I felt bad. I was perceived to be that dumb. Why? Because I couldn't speak the language. I felt like all my years in the university, everything I have in my head amounted to nothing because I couldn't communicate. But that didn't stop me, you guys. Quitting is never an option. I was curious because there you have it. I was a graduate living in Benin Republic with no certificates, no money. But that didn't stop me. I was curious. I wanted to know what this French life is about. I wanted to know what this language is about. What does it take to speak French? Somebody say, stare your curiosity. Stare. Repeat after me, stare. Your curiosity. I was curious about it. I didn't just say, oh, I want to speak French. Oh, the language is nice. OK. No. I actually did something towards that effect. I was trying to speak French. Little did I know that French is the official language of over 25 countries across five continents. French is the most studied language in the world after English and standard Mandarin Chinese. In other words, it increases your travel, it enhances and improves your travel experiences. Imagine countries you could go to, people you could meet, places you could see, only because you can speak. It gives you career and educational opportunities. French, yes. French is also the job language. Okay, okay. We all know that communication is key. In fact, the importance of communication cannot be overemphasized. Imagine I speak your language. You speak my language. We understand each other. We come to a common ground. Imagine the business deals we could make. Imagine the people we could meet, places we could go. Why? Just because I understand you, you understand me, and we can communicate. Let's come down to it. We are in a world that is globalized, that is gradually evolving globally, global markets everywhere. Now, imagine a world, imagine Africa. We have over 31 countries who have French as their uh, first language or the second language. Imagine Africa. And Africa is becoming a global port where different walks of life comes in, goes out, and you are there claiming you have a multi-billion whatever industry and you can't even reach out to the world. What is your purpose? What are you doing? Nothing. You're a champion, yes, but a champion in your own cliche, in your own niche. Are you going anywhere? You can't because you can't speak, you can't communicate, you can't do anything. You're only a boss in your own, in your own reign, in your own capacity, in your own domain. French language is not, uh, is not something to be toyed with. It is a key that opens doors to better things, to the international life, to the global world. How many native French speakers are here? If you're a native French speaker, please raise up your hands, please. Oh, you guys are much, I'm jealous. Please, a round of applause for yourself. You guys are awesome. Your language is wonderful. Yeah. So let's not forget that little things 
count. Little things count. I was up there in a point. At a point, I was up there, a student in Benin Republic. And the next night I went down. And the next night I became somebody who didn't understand, who was perceived to be stupid just because I couldn't speak. But here I am today because I got curious, because I wanted to know more, because I wanted to aspire, I wanted to go far. It sounds, it might sound funny somehow, it's not French, oh, it's just French. I'd, I'd, I'd just hire somebody to speak French for me. But what if you're caught in a situation where it's only you and somebody who could change your life for the better? or move your business forward, and it's just you, how do you present yourself? Let's do something. Let's move. Let's aspire. Let's get motivated. Let's do something to help ourselves move forward. I can do it, and I will do it. Je peux le faire, et je le ferai. Ah, I did it. Currently, currently, I am a private tutor. I have over five students. Yay, for somebody who didn't have, doesn't have a certificate. Ha! I am, I am a private tutor with five students. Uh, yeah, most of them in English, basic English, and also basic French. I'm making my money. I'm also aspiring for the best. But I'm okay. I can feed myself. I don't look malnourished anymore. I can clothe myself. I can go to where I, I don't have to trek anymore. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So do something. Stare your curiosity. The language in which you have its power in itself only if you recognize its value and successfully utilize it. Are you a business person? Are you a CEO? Do you own an enterprise? What are you doing? Utilize even the simplest thing that you have because every simple and easy move counts. Aujourd'hui, <laughs> get ready for my French, huh? don't judge me. <laughs> Aujourd'hui, je suis habilité parce que je possède une assesse illimitée. Ah, uh, you didn't understand. I'll start again. <laughs> How do you people? Okay. Aujourd'hui, je suis habilité parce que je possède une assesse limitée qui est le pouvoir d'être bilingue. Thank you very much. <laughs>